Good morning. My name is Andrei Khajeev, and I'm a course leader for Certificate of International Foundation Studies. Welcome to Westminster International University in Tashkent. Today, I'm going to make a brief introduction about the course, but before we start, I would like to invite you to the welcome speech by the University Rector. Dear new student, welcome to Westminster International University in Tashkent. Congratulations on your admission. Is your new rector appointed today? You are now part of the, one of the best universities in the country. As a CFS student 18 years ago, I can say that we cannot wait to welcome you here on this gorgeous campus. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we will wait a bit of time to do just that. In the meantime, our colleagues worked very hard to make sure that you will have the best possible student experience online and via distance learning. Westminster International University in Tashkent, as you know, is the first international university in Uzbekistan. And what makes this place special and unique is its people, our staff, our faculty, and students like you and our more than 2,000 plus alumni. So we're all very excited to have you join us starting next week to start your first steps into your future educational career, and we're glad that you chose this university to be part of your life achievement and uh, your milestone. So thank you very much, and I hope that I get to meet each and every one of you uh, throughout your educational career here at Westminster International University in Tashkent. I would also like to invite you to the welcome speech by Academic Deputy Rector, Dr. Michael Clark. Welcome to the university. Um, my name is Dr. Michael Clark. I'm the first Deputy Rector of the university. First of all, may I congratulate you on achieving your schooling results and entrance exams for the university. We at the University have a very strong collaborative relationship with the University of Westminster. Uh, we started off in 2002 and we've now had 18 years experience of working together uh, with the University um, of Westminster in London. Uh, the University of Westminster has basically been around for over 180 years and they're based in London in the UK. We offer British University degrees and those degrees are recognized worldwide in Uzbekistan and also by employers. One of the things in terms of your success for your career is, is basically your willingness to learn to learn. And that means that you take feedback as you basically do your modules throughout your degree. So in other words, the better you get, the better you get, the better you get in terms of learning, which is very much encouraged within the university. One of the other success factors for, for, for your career is obviously, while you're doing your degree, try and build up your experiences in terms of internships. And those internships are basically where you get practical experience in the field of work. It's very critical because if you have two um, graduates who basically graduated from the university, the person who normally gets the job is the person who has went out and got their relevant experience. We also build in within the, um, the programs skills which are required by employers. So things like communication skills, um, presentation skills, working in teams. Those are all part of the modules when you teach at the, you know, basically when you're here at the university. Um, Another factor to consider within the university is achieve your highest grades because we do give academic performance 
scholarships throughout your study. That's important for yourselves, but it's important because employers like to see students achieving very well. So it's a combination of internships, a combination of doing well in your studies, then that allows you to do well and get yourself jobs. Participate in clubs and societies at the university. That's important. It's important that you basically mentally use your brain, but also you work hard and play hard too. And that's very much encouraged within the university. I wish you every success in your journey at the university and every success in your future careers. Thank you. Now moving to the course. CFS is a level three by the UK system. In order to be awarded with a certificate and get to level four, you will need to pass 120 credits. In the first semester, you will take four core modules, academic English, iCitizen, quantitative methods, and developing professional identity that weight 20 credits each. In the second semester, in addition to the core modules, academic English, iCitizen, and developing professional identity, you will have a chance to choose two optional modules among business in the modern world, fundamentals of commercial law, visual programming, foundations of economics, and understanding finance. You will receive a call to enroll on the optional modules in November through the university email. For more information about the module's aims, types of assessment, module leader's contact details and more, please refer to CFS coursebook, which is available on the intranet webpage. Now moving to the university e-platforms and services. As a university student, you will have an access to a number of e-platforms and services. White Intranet, which is available at intranet.white.us. This platform has been developed to enable you to access learning resources independently and remotely. This platform is used in different ways, but in most cases, you will be able to get your assignments, receive feedback on assessments, review lecture materials and obtain additional reference material that you would find useful in your studies. In addition, the library provides an online catalog and e-journals that you can access. Until regular classes are resumed, Intranet is used as a teaching and learning platform. In addition, the WIDE student record system is also available from srs.wide.us, both within the university and remotely. The system stores all your assessment marks, and you can review your profile. Academic Registrar's Office provide key information such as course handbooks, enrollment and module registration information, exam timetables and more, accessible via WIAT intranet and at registrar.wiat.us. University Webmail, which is used as a default channel of communication at WIAT. Please note, this is your responsibility to regularly check white webmail for any important announcements and notifications with the course and module related information. The student mentoring scheme has been set up to help support students on CFS. The scheme aims to provide support at key stages of the student's course to help them to settle in, make progress and to achieve their potential within the university. Mentors provide support to groups of students at the start of the course, during the induction week, for example, and throughout the first year of study. They are selected and trained to ensure that they have the skills and knowledge necessary to support new entrants who face obstacles during transition from school to university and to a new educational system. Module Leader On the course, you will study a range of modules. Each module has a module leader who is responsible for the delivery, resourcing, assessment and smooth running of the module and for coordinating the module team. If you have a query about the module, you should contact the relevant module leader. The list of the module leaders can be found at the faculty office or on the intranet module page. And to me, a CFS course leader who is responsible for the general management of the course and your program of study. You can reach me via email at a.com.
k-h-o-j-w-e-v at wyatt.us. This is all from me now. Later today, you will virtually meet your mentors and will have an exciting induction week ahead. I would like to congratulate you on achieving the biggest milestone in your life and wish you all the best in 2020-2021 academic year. Welcome to Wyatt. Congratulations on becoming Wyattarians.